People from all over the country came to share their love of fishing and celebrate Bass Pro's 50th anniversary. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live outside Bass Pro tonight. Sydney, how were the crowds out there today with beautiful weather? Well, Billy, although it is pretty quiet out here right now, there were tons of people out here. They say with the sun shining, it was just an overall great day to get out and, and have some fun. The World Fishing Fair is reaching the end of its line. Big event. It was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It was, it was awesome. From fishing gear to demonstrations and amusement rides. A great day to do it. Sunshine, beautiful day. There was something for everyone. We just came in, enjoyed the beautiful weather, uh, got some good deals, and enjoyed the demonstrations. Uh, I love the outdoors. I love fishing. So this is, this is a pretty good day for me. I basically said, I, okay, I'm going Saturday and grab my fishing stuff. So I bought about $200 worth of fishing stuff. Rods, tackle, some clothes. Bass Pro expected nearly half a million people to show up this week. People from other states were reeled in. I grew up outside and I grew up on, on my river back home and fishing's a big part of that. And it's just something I've enjoyed since a child. Although an end to a historic event, folks will continue to share their love of their favorite pastime. Probably going fishing this week when I get home after work. Yeah, I've always stopped at the outdoors and fishing. It don't matter where you come from. Everybody can enjoy a good fishing trip. And it just it's just a good way to get outside and enjoy nature and fellow kinship uh, of enjoying the same things. Well, Bass Pro will still have a full list of events tomorrow until the early afternoon. And good news for drivers, Campbell will open up in between Cherokee and Sunshine very soon after the fishing fair ends. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.